Replicable Sustainability, the new Occupy movement. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 329. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 329, July 14th, 2019 edition. One Community's mission is to bring together people with a consciousness for the highest good of all life on this planet and to build self replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. And today, what I want to talk about is replicable sustainability, the new Occupy movement. Let's occupy planet Earth. And our idea of the new Occupy movement is rather than shaking our fists and being angry at bad guys and pointing at the top and saying, change things, we don't like it, to empower instead empower people to be able to create the lives that they want, to be able to have more time to do the things that they want, to create environments that are sustainable, and to train and provide what's necessary for the next generation of global stewards. And this means from our open source high school education program, which teaches how to how to learn instead of what to learn, to our fulfilled living practices model, our social architecture model, the sustainable infrastructure. It's really an evolution of sustainability, taking the physical foundations of sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing, and combining them with the emotional foundations of sustainability that we've identified as high good education models, high good economic models, fulfilled living practices, and truer stewardship, and putting these things together as replicable sustainability, the new Occupy movement. And so through this model and what we're creating, and our goal is to make it self-replicating by demonstrating it's easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough so that it'll spread on its own. We are open sourcing and free sharing all the foundations, all the tools, the tutorials, the resources, and do-it-yourself instructions necessary for replication so that people can create what it is that we're creating for themselves. So that we can build one community as a demonstration prototype, invite people to come and experience it. If people like what they see, if people like the experience, they can go off and replicate it, modify it, adapt it, improve it for themselves. And so our idea for replicable sustainability, the new Occupy movement, is to be able to give everybody what they need to build their own teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs that provide for all of their needs and set them free from the current paradigm. Give them enough, all giving them enough also, so that they can contribute to helping others if they want to. It's not necessary, but that is our goal is to build it self-replicating and to be the ones that first demonstrate it's easy enough, affordable enough, and make a place where people can come and experience it and decide for themselves if it's attractive enough to replicate. Now, if they want to replicate it, then they will have everything that they need to do that. They will have the open source plans that are all permitted and ready to go. They will have all the tools, tutorials, and resources for construction, setting it up, for replicating it that way. And they will have the actual financial business models, the economic models, all the different pieces that go into that as well to be able to run it and keep it thriving and prospering, generating enough revenue so that they can expand indefinitely, just like the one community model is designed to expand indefinitely. Once the initial seed capital is raised and we are ready to start building and we build the first village and the city center, we will be able to generate enough revenue to be able to continue on our own from that point forward and to be able to generate it. And the more we build and the more we expand, the more revenue we'll be able to generate to help even more with everything that we're creating and moving the whole idea forward. So this is our idea of replicable sustainability, new Occupy movement. And when we apply this model and you think of the self-replicating model, our goal is to reach that tipping point of participation so that we can positively and permanently impact the lives of everybody on the planet. And we can do this within our lifetime. If one community inspires two more communities the next year to start and those two plus one inspire four more and then eight and then 16 and 32 and 64 and so on and so forth. I mean, we could transform the whole planet in 30 years. Now, will it actually double like that? Because those numbers become huge as you get to five or six years. No, probably not. But we can get enough people involved to reach that tipping point. And that's really what we're trying to do. We don't expect everybody to want to do exactly what it is that we're doing. But what we do want to do is provide something for everyone.
something that positively benefits everyone. And so we have created a path to global sustainability, and that will benefit everybody. We've created a path to really addressing the foundations of war, the foundations of social injustice and inequality, the foundations of unsustainability, the foundations of poverty, the foundations of house of homelessness, the foundations of lack of energy infrastructure, the foundations of, of needing clean drinking water and clean air and healthy food that hasn't been sprayed with poisons and toxins. We've built something to, to address all of those things simultaneously, and we think that that's really the best way to do it. Address all those things simultaneously, and there we will have, through replicable sustainability, the new Occupy movement. This is what we're doing. Occupy planet Earth, create self-sufficiency, create sustainability, radical self-sufficiency, radical sustainability, so that people can do the things that they want to do and become the true stewards that we are meant to be and capable of being for this planet taking care of our local environment, our communities, our nations, and our planet together as a global cooperative, a global sustainability collaborative, working towards the highest good of all life on this planet, all people on this planet, for the good of everyone. That's what we're up to. So we're an all-volunteer, uh, non-profit, non-governmental organization. We've had almost 400 volunteers help our project to this, this point. And with that said, here is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal of replicable sustainability, the new Occupy movement, and creating a world that works for everybody within our lifetime. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team did another round of testing last week's Murphy Bed Assembly instruction updates. What you see here are the errors we found. Brianna Olson, sustainability researcher, completed her sixth week researching the most sustainable insulation options. This week, she finished the first draft of the summary of the products, their key features, and their pros and cons. You can see some of this work here, and we'd say this behind-the-scenes work is now 90% complete. Dan Alec, designer and illustrator, also completed his 49th week helping with Earthbank Village renders. This week, he did one additional round of edits to finish this Earthbank Village Looking South image. You can now find this updated on the website also. Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, also completed his 59th week developing the Murphy Bed instructions. This week's focus was continued updates and revisions to the bed box section. Almost every page here has had changes made to it and several are new. One Community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team added all the sustainability benchmarking details for all the major faucet providing companies to the Most Sustainable Faucets page. This week, Uchiao Zhang, architectural designer and drafter, completed his eighth week helping update the City Center AutoCAD and SketchUp files and designing and calculating the needs for the rainwater harvesting system. This week, he made updates to the window and door plan and created the second draft of the new zoning and harvesting strategy. You can see some of this work here. Ron Wang, mechanical engineer, continued with his 10th week working on the energy modeling for our LEED Platinum certification and City Center Open Source HVAC Design Tutorial. This week he calculated heating and cooling coefficients to assess performance and fine-tune the purpose building model to confirm it met ASHRAE requirements for unmet hours. Sneha Dongre, structural engineer, additionally continued with her 16th week helping with the duplicable City Center structural details. This week's focus was adding 3D surfaces to the remaining dome and patio areas and testing them in SAP 2000. You can see some of this work here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued with week 17 of our development of the open source lake and water retention landscape design tutorial. This week, we created all the imagery shown here. The core team also added all the researched fencing content to the open source GOATS page. 
You can see some of this new content here. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. With eight years invested in designing it, this component of one community is pretty much complete until we move on to the property and continue to develop it with teachers and students. Completed sections include comprehensive subject outlines covering arts and trades, English, health, math, science, social sciences, technology and innovation, and values. Also, 52 weekly themed lesson plans covering all the subjects we just mentioned, all learning levels and ages, and usable in any learning environment. 12 detailed and progressive curriculum outlines are also complete, summaries and integration of all the best known alternative education programs including Montessori, Waldorf, ORF, Regio, and more, and leadership skills, collaborative assessment formats and forums, a global online free education resource hub, classroom design, and more. This week, Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, rejoined the team and started helping with people and object additions to the redesigned and re-rendered sections of the Ultimate Classroom. Here are the first drafts of four of these new classroom spaces. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team updated our healthy living policy and page to clarify we'll be demonstrating a smoke-free property. The core team working with Brian Gilb, project management professional, also completed the project charter and initial work breakdown structure for the Highest Good Network software. Also, these charts and graphs for interpreting data in the work breakdown structure for the complete project. And Emilio Nahara, digital marketer, continued with his 36th week as part of the marketing team by researching how subgrouping works and creating the subgroups for the highest good of all landing page, covering foundations for world change in nonprofit organizations, and sustainable food and sustainable housing. You can see some of this work here. There you have it. There is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal of replicable sustainability, the new Occupy movement. If you like more details, more specifics, links, to all open source content, visit our written blog, visit our website. There are hundreds, thousands of pages uh, of content there, and we continue to create new content every single day, as you've just seen all the things that we're working on. Uh, if you'd like to get an email every time one of these updates comes out, send email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, and we will add you to our newsletter list. And if you would like to help out, visit our helping page, or the easiest way to help out is join us on social media. Uh, we are on all the different social media networks to make these as easy as possible. We are on Facebook, Pinterest, Tumblr, Reddit, Instagram, uh, LinkedIn, Facebook, I don't really say that one, three or four different pages on Facebook, and about 15 others to make it as easy as possible to participate. And um, yeah, thanks for watching to the end. It helps us out. Just watching to the end helps our YouTube algorithm. So if you're somebody that's watched the end, thank you for that. Some of you who's donated to our project, that's great. We really appreciate that as well. We're 100% unpaid team, including myself, all volunteers doing this because we want to see this world. We want to create this world. We see a world that works for everybody within our lifetime. And we're dedicated to that. So if you've donated to our project, that helps us fund uh, our website infrastructure and continue to produce our open source tools and resources and do-it-yourself instructions and make them even more readily available to the world. And uh, if you said, if you commented or liked our videos or subscribed to our YouTube channel, all those things make a difference. So thanks for helping out in whatever way works best for you. And know that until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks.